Oh, the oven. Oh! Welcome everybody to episode three of the Fears to Fathom series. As you can see, this is Carson House and this is what it's all about. Noah Baker, an 18 year old high schooler, experiences unsettling occurrences while house setting for a media personality. Little did he know, what was about to come. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember that incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and all, almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought it could be the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Hundred dollars, that, that's really not bad. Dad... Dad drove me to the house? You, you drove me to the laundromat! Dad, you, you drove to the wrong house! This is not the house! Daddy, come back! This is a fucking laundromat! Laundromat! I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but... He fooled me! He wanted me to do the laundry! I knew I couldn't trust my father at all. Can we use the restroom? No? I don't want to go out in the rain. Private. Hell no, I don't want to go down there. Employees only. I, I shouldn't go down there, but I, I, I think we should anyway. <laughs> because I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. I can do whatever I want. This is a huge place for doing laundry. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right with this place and something happens now, of course. Shift to sprint! What? Is someone chasing us? No one is. Why should we sprint? Am I high on drugs right now? Whoa, boy, I'm so dizzy! Oh, listen to the music! Everything is just messed up. What a rush. Here's a person I shouldn't communicate with or trust. Bleach? Excuse me? Uh, 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 excuse me? Where did you put it? What? What? Where did I put what? Where's the bleach? I need the bleach! Uh, what, what even... What even is this place? Who are you? I SAID I NEED THE BLEACH! What's the deal with the bleach, man? Come on! Noah? N Noah? Nap time's over! We're here! We're here! You said you could do this! Wake up now! WAKE UP! WAKE UP, NOAH! NOAH! WAKE UP! Wake up? Was it all a dream? Noah, wake up! Can you just wake the fuck up, Noah? Oh, oh, uh, what are we doing, Dad? You still think you can do this? Oh, you know what? I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. The fake rock? Got it. He said it's in the backyard. 
And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay now, get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm not I'm only in for it for snacks. Get your ass to work. <laughs> not you, you're not even gonna say goodbye? Goodbye, and how about I love you? I love you, son. How about I'm proud of you, son? You know what? Never mind. I never liked you anyway. I think I gotta try to get Carson to become my new dad. We got a shiny object here? No? Nothing? So this is the house. It was a nice neighborhood. Yeah, it's a really nice neighborhood. Kinda feels like from the first episode of Fears to Fathom, Home Alone. Had to get the key. Oh, that's right. We need to go to the backyard. To some kind of fake rock? What the hell is that? A fake rock? Who has a fake rock? Seriously. What a nerd. That's what you are, a nerd. Nothing else. Good dog, good home. Is that a... I don't know what you call it, but uh, a little house for the dogs. Is there a doggy here? Oh, they're so cute, boy. I'm going to pet you. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Hello, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute, boy. Oh, I love you, boy. Is that a Rottweiler? Yeah, that's a Rottweiler. Is, is there any food left? No, throw it away. No food left for you. Fuck that food. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to get you some food later. I hope. I'm gonna empty the house. We are looking for a rock. <laughs> I almost forgot. What are you barfing at? Stop doing that. Nice doggy. Please don't bite me. We are looking... We found the fake rock. With a key hidden inside. Alrighty then. Let's go into the house. Hello. You wanna come with me, boy? Oh, he's just going back to his little doggy bed. Okay, this is a decent house. I like it. It's a good neighborhood. It's a good, uh, good house as well. I had to pee. So first things first, pee. Do not disturb for any reason. I just have to open the door. What? Are you having photo sessions here? Look at this setup. Are you a YouTuber? Are you a streamer, Carson? Is it something you haven't told me yet? I really had to pee, okay? We're gonna pee. Easy now. And I'm not going down there. To the basement of death. Where's the toilet? Can this be the toilet? I found the rooms already. It's almost like I already live here. Open up both lids. You have to do it properly. Okay, relax. Oh. There we go. That's the spirit. And uh, we need to make sure to not pee outside. I have no control of my penis. No, I spilled. I'm sorry, Carson. Well, most of it uh, ended up in the toilet anyway, so you should be happy for that. Flush and wash your hands. You're not gonna wash your hands. Filthy boy. Noah, come on. We have a message. What the hell is this? From Evelyn Cooper? Oh, we have been talking a lot. The school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. Shut up. I just need to read this first. It's an interesting conversation here, okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Pick up. I really wish you could come home tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know, I have to be a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even know want to know what mine thinks of me. <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing. I just think I really disappointed him. Blah, blah. Okay, Roy Carson. I, I will check your messages. Jesus Christ. First things first. Okay, relax. I'm going to start from the beginning. 
Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best out of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My flesh are really... <laughs> Just give me the fucking money. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, uh, he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Seek. Seek? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house. Now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it! We're going to feed Mr. Seek now. Our lovely friend, the beautiful dog. I love dogs. I've told you this before. I really love dogs. I would love to have a dog myself one day, but right now it doesn't work with the full-time job I have, unfortunately. Don't really have the time for that. Oh, we need to get the dog food first. It was in the basement. The basement I didn't want to go down in. The basement was a little too dark. So, what you gonna do? Turn on the fucking lights. They're already on, by the way. Roy Carson is texting me. I, I want to get out of this basement first. I, I don't want to stand there in the darkness reading messages. It's just creepy. <laughs> Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem, smiley face. I'm shitting my pants. But I say it's no problem. Man, I'm trying to act so cool. Why is all that creepy music going on right now? I realized the house was way much bigger than ours. Why am I hearing creepy music? I don't like that. Okay, here's another bathroom. We were supposed to find a storage room. This looks like a storage room, but it's shitty dark in here too. Can I borrow a flashlight in order to find the flashlight in the dark storage room in order to get down to the dark basement and find the dog food? Is that okay? No? So... Is this the storage room? It looks like a storage room. But... There are no... Wait a minute. There was something here? Do I have the flashlight now? Yeah! That was the flashlight! I didn't even see that one! It was so dark! Can we try throwing it down the stairs? Yeah! Fuck you, flashlight. I'm just gonna see if it works. Yeah, that's a proper flashlight. Still works. Okay, so let's go down to the creepy basement. Everything for Zeke. I do anything for that cute little dog. But where is the dog food? Not around here. Here's something. Oh! Is this it? It is dog food, right? Canned dog food as well. Nice. You're getting yourself a luxurious meal now. I still wonder what's the deal with that creepy music. Is it something going on now? I had to open the can. Of course. He's sleeping. Cute fella. Oh, he's so cute. He's not that much of a guard dog, to be honest, but I mean, he's really cute. Okay, a can opener. We need a can opener. S somewhere is this one? Do I have to th <laughs> throw with a can on the bench? Upside down. Okay, the can opener, and then we're gonna use it on the can. Right mouse button hold to use. Ah! And there we go. We opened the can. Now throw it away. Fuck you, can opener. I don't know why I'm acting like this. I'm 36 years old, by the way. Hey, Zeke. I got you some food, boy! Come here and get the food! 
Come get the food. Oh, watch out for the can. I don't want to throw it in your face. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Coochie, coochie. Okay, I, I need to go now. I got a mission to do. I need to uh, guard the house because apparently you're not doing such a great job with that. So, Roy Carson, texting me again. Hey kid, heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up there or here? I guess. I, I want to throw this flashlight away, but I think I'm going to use it later. I, I want to close the door to the basement. I don't like it when it's opened. We got another message. I have a lot of experience. Expensive equipments laying around don't want anything to happen into it. Yeah, I understand. I just take a look at your computer oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks kid. Okay, where's your computer? It's not this one is it? No Nothing Are we going upstairs? I haven't checked the rooms over here. Hello? Ah, oh, just a creepy bedroom. Got another message. Thanks, kid. Ale Carson, 5387. And what is that for? Oh, another painting of or a picture of Marcia. Some games are using the same assets. It's getting quite common. Okay, this is a laundry room. Here's something. Here's a computer. Close the door because you can never know for sure. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Not really because it's a fucking mess here. Jesus Christ. Let's connect to the computer, will we? I remember I was doing calculus that night. Okay. But now we are going to jump straight into the computer. Okay, so I guess we received the password from Carson. Ail Carson 5387. Sorry, just scratching my chin a little bit. Welcome! We did it! We solved the hard puzzle. Egg dot X? What the hell is that? Let's enter it and then exit. Get it? Exit. Get it? No. Okay. I'm sorry. So what were we supposed to do? Let's give it a try. Oh. I wanna... Whoa! The system has encountered a critical error. We shouldn't... Go into the egg. <laughs> Guess the flag, recycle bin. INET. Oh, Jesus Christ. Internet browser. Free trial for a limited period. What are you talking about? Get your children catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. Get full protection. And <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to click on that. Guess the flag. Nothing works. Nothing works. What shall I do? Is it something I missed here? Guess the flag. Recycle bin. Guide to being a... What's this? Restore. Guide to being a... A better person? Well, thank you! I need this! I need a break! Just kidding. Step one, don't be rude. Great tip. Great advice. Being rude will discourage people from talking to you. I'm sorry, what? Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. 
in the meantime, enjoy some happy images. I mean, this is already recorded. Oh, a cute little doggy. Okay, you got me big time. Remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though what he said was so controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is not to let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. Wow, what a life coach. Wow. What a freaking life coach. That's amazing. Holy shit. I feel like a new man now. And what's this? Test one. Unknown file. I guess I won't need that. Can we do something here? Here's the door. Oh, it's completely budged by all the things. He has a complete server here. Holy shit. So many things. Man, it's this guy really likes computers, huh? He really likes those computers. But I still don't know what to do. A few moments later. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to download this. Get full production. Benefits that makes a difference. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in. Sign me up. Download now, please. Oh, shit. I'm going to break the complete computer out of this. This is probably a virus. Uh, welcome to antivirus. Perform full scan. Yes, please. How many threats do we have? Two, three. Loading, 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 scanning complete. Security threat. Oh no! Remove them! Remove the threats! Give me my computer back! I so want to uh, get hold of the security system, the camera system. Is it done? You're protected, okay? Are we good now? Are we good? Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. The security cameras are up and running. Everything is fixed. I just needed some antivirus and then we were back in no time. Got a message from... Sorry about that. Got a message from Carson. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Yeah, boy. Evelyn Cooper. Oh, but well, what it's about? Weird. Reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha. <laughs> yeah, hold on. So Evelyn wants to watch some TV with me. And security cameras are on. Awesome. Yeah, boy! He has a really decent setup of security cameras here. Let's go down, watch some TV! What do we got? Hello. Welcome to Cooking with Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking... Cat food! <laughs> I love me cat food. It's, my it's on! Are you watching cat food? Yeah, he's got a good. It's my favorite dish. Ha 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 ha. Evelyn, what are you doing? I can't eat this. It's raw. So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed pan on a stove. Cat food on a stove? Come on. Stop it. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's Don't bosom. do it. Okay, now, while 
know that's cooking. I can work on an appetizer. Jeffrey really just be dread free sometimes. Known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we pour the milk into the glass. Are we seriously watching this? Into the okay, Roy Carson is texting me. Look at that. Also, I think you should get... Doesn't Wait a minute. Nice. Easy, can I please okay, read first? I, also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark amazing. outside. Here's some... There's some cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. He sent me a list of groceries? Do I need to buy groceries for him as well? Okay, I shut that off now. Oh god, I hate these ads. Well, I hate your fucking TV program, Evelyn. <sighs> On the nightstand. Okay, that's that must be at the bed. And here's a bed. Here's a nightstand. Not nothing here. Is it uh, another bedroom? Wait a minute. Here it was. I forgot. Sorry. Here's a decent bedroom and a nightstand. Oh, there we got them cash. But why are you folding the cash like that? That's just annoying. Please stop doing that. Please. So let's go for some grocery shopping, I guess. For your trouble, get something yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. I'm going to buy so much booze right now. So I'm just taking a walk to the grocery store? Or can I use your car? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Uh-huh. So I couldn't get a car. Apparently. Here we got a bike. That will do. That will actually do. Let's go for a ride! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy now, easy now. I can't die on the way to the grocery store. I mean... Where's the grocery store? Is this the right way or should we... Okay, something happens. Nine twenty-two p.m. Oh, it's getting late. There's the store. I'm gonna ride right in front of the car. Jesus Christ! Am I still on the bike? There are other reasons I could have died that night. Okay, I'm gonna be more careful. Nux. Here's oh. Hello. I'm taking a bike ride in your store. What do you think of that? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna place it right here. Sorry. Just coming through. Coming through. Sorry. I'm just gonna... There we go. Space to get off. There we go. Okay. Let's do some grocery shopping. We're gonna... Oh, he's really looking at me right now. Are you pissed off? Are you pissed off, sir? I'm gonna have to ask you to take your bike outside. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't think he would notice, actually. But let's take the bike outside. Let's make everyone happy. Coming through. Sorry. It's really hard to squeeze yourself through here because you have so many shelves everywhere. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm just gonna turn around here. I just need to find a good spot to... Uh, Turn around, and then I'm going to drive out of the store. There we go. Oh, Jesus, that, that was hard. <laughs> that was so much work just to get out the bike. Let's grab one of these baskets and do some shopping, will we? What do we need? Ranch, strawberry jelly. Here we got some jelly. 
Ranch. Uh, what's this? Oh, that was ranch? <laughs> I just placed it on top of the jelly. <laughs> Come on, get your ass down in the fucking basket. There we go. What else do we need? Uh, cocoa spread, milk and eggs, get gardened. That's a lot of things. Cocoa spread for Alec. And milk and eggs. Cocoa spread. That's the right thing, huh? And some milk. Where's the milk? There's the milk. And eggs. Where's the eggs? Here's something. There we have the eggs. Perfect. What else do we need? Garden peas, honey and rice. Garden peas, honey and rice. I don't know what I just took, but it was something. Maybe something useful. Rice! Here we got rice. Garden peas. There we have... And speak of the devil... Oh, I'm sorry guys, I, I can barely see you guys. What are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was here, she just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something. Dude, I say they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick. I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Milf energy, come on, guys. You, I think she's more of like of a goth. Goth milf energy, come on guys, how, how old are you? Really, how old are you? Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? How sitting for this guy's guy Carson tonight? You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, yeah, you guys have fun. Alright, dude, see you at school on Monday then. Okay, I'll see you around, Andy. Screw you, Andy. Did we grab the peas here? There we have some garden peas. What more do we need? We have milk and egg garden peas. Get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only. Did we take the right rice? And then we need ketchup. Huh? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Can you just back off a little bit? Hey, son, do you work here? No, I'm just here shopping. What do you want? Ha, ah, okay, son. Why? Why? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Hold on. Let me get it for you. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Yeah, just don't go hide somewhere, Grandma. Are we gonna find the mustard for her, too? But first, we can grab some ketchup. I think this is the one. Yeah, we got some ketchup. Okay, here's some mustard. Can we grab that for her? Hey, I found your mustard! Old lady! Here! Here's your mustard! Are you the lady I spoke to? Excuse me. Is that the mustard in your basket? Could you get me one too? I got that one for you! Do I need to get another one? Okay, let's get another mustard. Did I, did I pick it up? I can't see a jack ch Oh, I picked up more of them. <laughs> so many mustards right now. Hey, I got you a mustard. Could you get... I just picked up one for you. Why are you leaving? She's not accepting my mustard. What the hell? Okay, so what, do, what else do we need? Uh, we have ranch, strawberry jelly, cocoa spread. We have milks and egg. We have garden peas. We have rice, ketchup, milks and eggs. We don't have honey? Where's the honey? We probably need the honey and... The other rice, I think. I I'm not really sure. Where is the honey? Milk and toast and honey makes it funny. La 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 la. Yeah, that's Roxette. They are Swedish, by the way, for your information. There's honey. Take one of those. 
Can I grab some beers for myself as well? Please? Grab yourself a beer! I could pick anything I wanted! Or can we just pay for everything now? I can't even see you! No, but... What's the problem? What shall I do then? Oh! You can grab one of the mustards here! Should I build this for you? No, wait, didn't I get everything? Here we have something! Uncle Tony's something. Is this it? Can we please pay now? I can't even see you. What does it matter? Come on! A few. Okay, I've been doing this over and over again <laughs> because I took the wrong items. So it looks like a fucking mess here right now, but now we're going to pay. I took like Cocoa Pops instead of Cocoa Spread. So yes, please, build this for me, finally. <laughs> Thanks for shopping, blah, blah, blah. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's grab the cycle, bicycle, and let just get back. Let's just... I'm out of control right now because I'm so frustrated. I was in that grocery store for so long without noticing. So stupid. Oh, I hate myself sometimes. But let's go back home. Back to the house. Okay, so where was the house? Is this the house? I think I recognize this. I had to pee again as I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. Is this the house, by the way? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I still had a lot of schoolwork to do. Are we going to place this in the kitchen first? Yeah, just place it right there. That, that will be perfect. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Didn't you have to pee first? Let's go to the toilet. First things first. Let's go for a pee. Ah, there we go. There we go. And don't pee on the towel. Don't pee on the towels. No, the towels I spilled. I'm sorry, Carson. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so much pee. I don't need to flush the toilet because all the pee is on those towels. I think he's going to notice that later, but... Uh, <laughs> so gross let's go and make some homework i think we're gonna do it at the computer let's go uh, oh, 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 oh oh easy now andy reynolds dude you said you're at carson's right you need to see this search up roy carson divorce on the internet right now okie dokie let's go to the internet roy carson divorce Roy Carson, co-founder of BM Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. What? Huh? It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrity's personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson. The COO and co-founder of BN Media, after his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, he was allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infinitely that underwent within the said relationship. I can't even read right now, I'm sorry. Huh? Wait, I'm just going to read this first. Sources say says Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa had, hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. And now someone is on the door. We need to check the footage. Check the camera first. Who is there? We have, oh, we have night vision. Who is that guy? 
Are we gonna open up? This is so tricky in these games because you never really know what to do. You never really know if you're about to do a huge mistake or not. If I open the door now, he might be a killer. But maybe he's a decent guy. Who is it? Your delivery from one medium size from pizza? I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. Let's open anyway. Here. Man, that's a happy guy. Okay, I guess I'll take it. And now? Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but uh, do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Uh, no, I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Oh, I understand. Well, you have a good day. Are you fucking kidding me? And you could just sit in the car? That was weird. That was weird. So where are we gonna eat the pizza? Maybe by the TV? <laughs> just throw it down. I thought I could watch on TV while eating. Yes! That's always a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. Sit and relax in the couch. Open the pizza box and yum yum that shit right into your mouth. The pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Okay, so what are we watching? Some creepy ass TV shows again. Take another slice. Yum yum yum. And another one maybe. Roy Carson. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive in a minute now. Enjoy. Oh, so he ordered that for me. Thank you, Carson. That's really kind of him. What kind of show is this? Seriously. Eat that pizza. Yum, yum, yum. Hope everything's okay. Good night, Noah. Sorry, I got caught up with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Love ya. I'm gonna eat my pepperoni pizza and watch these escape. stupid TV shows right now. Can okay, grab pizza? another one. I really want to uh, stick to the mission right now, not sit around here and eating pizza and shit. I heard someone at the door again. I'm just gonna finish my pizza. Hold on a second. I think we should get up now. <laughs> Throw away that fucking cardboard box. Okie dokie. Are we gonna look out? Who is out there? No one? I knew I heard a knock on the door. Is it... Isn't there anyone out there? I can't see anyone. Who is it? I don't think I want to open the door now. Who is it? I won't ask again. Ah, oh, let's open. Flowers? For me? I didn't know what to make of it. Those were some decent flowers. Thank you very much. There's nothing dangerous around here. Do I have a vase or something I can put them in? Let's just place them right there. <laughs> I just threw them away. Threw them away to hell. What should we do now? 
I think we should do the studies now, maybe. And avoid that TV. Maybe I should shut it off right away. There we go. Let's go up and do some studies. Because that's what kids are doing. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? Huh? I assumed it was a wrong number. I sure hope so. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence had and moved on, okay? It was probably a weird coincidence. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. So, we need to get to work. Do some studies. Is this my studies? Engrossment? En engrossment? Did we finish the engrossment now? 1.36 a.m. <laughs> AM. <laughs> While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Oh, the unknown sender again. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Thought it's much hotter anyways. Who are you? Yeah, who is this creep? In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy were the only people I knew I was house-sitting alone. Yeah, that's a good point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we watch the cameras? Something is beeping. I don't know if it's the... Yes, it is. It's the cameras. Night mode, please. Please don't let it be an intruder. Please. There are the flowers I put down so easily. Why is it beeping like that? Where's my dog? Where's Seek? I saw someone there. I thought I saw someone outside. The fuck? Okay, let's get up and check it out. I think we need to go down. Maybe we should bring the flashlight now. I, I knew I'd throw it here somewhere. Seek is barking. He is barking. Okay, let's get out. Something is outside. Let's go. Where are you, Zeke? Where is he? Is he... Somewhere here? He's somewhere here. Hey, Zeke! Where are you? Here you are! You're so dark, I can't barely see you. What's going on? He was acting very weird. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Did someone shut off the power or something? I turned the power back on. Okay, yeah. Someone, I could tell that someone had cut the power off from the outside. I, it had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off now. Yeah, I can ensure. Do you want to come in? No, you need to guard me right now. You stay outside. Okay, so we got another message from the creep. You said we were... Would stay friends. 
Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Or is it? What are we gonna do? And I don't even think the doors are locked, but uh, I, I don't think we can do that. I had to get back to my schoolwork for money, yeah. We need to do some schoolwork. That's a good plan. Let's get back to the schoolwork. We gotta stay smart. We gotta stay smart. Let's go back to the schoolwork and then get smart. Engrossment. Let's increase the engrossment within ourselves. <laughs> Whatever that is. The I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. I thought I heard some knocking. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. So what you gonna do about it? Are we gonna check the cameras again, maybe? There's... There's been some movement again? What?! There's a mess down there! No way! Someone's been through the house! Oh no! No, 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 no. Is it someone in here already? I don't like that. I don't like that. So the weird studio room was a complete mess. Was it over here? here okay so someone has been in the house but where why am I not able to lock the doors? That's so annoying. Whoa. That's not a good sign. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Should we close that door and get back up? I just want to lock myself in somewhere. This doesn't feel good at all. Okay. Uh... Are we going to check the cameras again, or... <laughs> What's the plan? What's the plan? Ha! Huh. We got no other movement on the cameras. No one here right now, I hope. I heard something downstairs. I had to go and look. Okay. I had to go down and check, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm in for it. Hello? Anyone here? Is this when we are going to check the room here? Nothing to say. Oh, the oven. Oh! Whoa! What the fuck? Loki, it makes me very uncomfortable. Just killed. What the hell? Whew. 
Let's try to go down again. I don't know if I did anything wrong the last time. Shall I take another way? I shouldn't use the flashlight. It's the oven. Give it another try. I guess we need to do this. Hey dog, can you protect me please? I don't know what to do? Seek was acting very weird. Yes, because she is in here. What do we do, Zeke? What do we do? Let's get out of here. I turned it off. Let's get out of here. Low-key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Well, it's a she. I had to confront him. You can't do that. I didn't have this contact. I could only ask Andy. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit missing. Come on, answer me now, please. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Oh no, he hasn't. Question mark. Dude, he's at my place right now. I attributed all of that lack of my sleep. I was aware I have the tendency of being overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of was the time to keep an eye on on the security monitor. Okay. Dude is about we were gonna go to the movies with blah blah blah. Now I think about it, I should have called the cops. Just do it! But at the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never <laughs> entered my head. So you're not gonna call the cops. Is that what you're saying? We were gonna do the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. So I'm not calling the cops? Are we going back into the computer? I got a bad feeling about this. Well, let's do it. I guess we just do it. I had to close the front door. <laughs> Too late, man. She's already in here. I couldn't go upstairs with the side door wide open. Which side door? Okie dokie. Feels so terrifying walking around here now. She could be anywhere. <laughs> Let's go back to the office. Let's go back, do some studies. Check the cameras. Close the door. Okay, let's check the cameras one more time. Mamma mia. Still a bit of a mess in there. No one there and the oven is turned off. That's good. That's a good sign. No one in the basement, I think. I don't want to go down there. No one there. Andy Reynolds. What's up, bro? 
dude, he's at my place, blah, blah, blah. Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Okay, this is real sketchy. What is sketchy? What are you talking about? Did I hear something? Whoa! I heard a door. I swear I heard a door. So There she is! And she's holding a fucking knife! She's upstairs. I felt my heart skip a bit. No kidding! She's upstairs! I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. She's looking for us! Please don't go here. I think that's the door that's barricaded. She was right outside the room that I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. That... No kidding! What are we gonna do? Noah? I don't want to answer her. Are you in there? I really missed you. Noah? Is that someone I know? Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Clara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. Uh, this is not exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now, please. We deserve a second chance. You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Clara, do it and I will fucking kill both of you. What now? What now? What now? If I can't have you, no one else should. No, don't do this. Don't do this right now. Noah. Oh no, we are screwed. We are screwed. Okay, we are back in the scenario where she is right outside the door. I'm going to try to find another way because apparently we can't just stay in the room. Maybe we need to hide somewhere. Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work out together. What do you want? I've always been nothing but nice to you. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. At least she's not a junkie. That, I want to be kind to her. I don't want to piss her off. Are we going to try to hide or something? I don't know. We deserve a You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill you both! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go in here. I don't know where to... If I can...
Oh, we're just gonna run? Is that safe? Are we making a run for it? I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Thought the time key <laughs> thought by the time they arrived she had already left the house. I'm so nervous right now. But I knew where she lived. And Kara was one of the first people I met on the dating sites. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to, to get her help, but she turned it around on me as I was trying to change her. One day I had enough, and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. Yeah, apparently. Holy moly. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Thank you God for the security cameras. But the thing that messed me the most was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced, sentenced for a long while. Wow. And that was it for the episode 3 of Fears to Fathom. This was scarier than I thought. I don't know what's what it is with these kind of games, Fears to Fathom games, but they have a they have a special ambience in the in the games that makes everything so much scary. I mean, you you shouldn't think it's scary in one way because it's so natural things. It has nothing to do with the paranormal stuff or anything like that, but still it's so scary. So uh Smash the like button if you like this video and if you like me to continue on these Fears to Fathom games or similar games like this. And once again, thanks for watching, thanks for being awesome, and I see you in the next one. You like that, don't you?